Today, I'm going to teach you to use mind mapping to summarize accounting standards, MFRS. Let's say event after balance sheet date. Okay. Also, I'm going to summarize company act. Okay, on solvencies. Okay. Uh, so I'm not going to cover everything. Okay, on company act because a lot of info. Okay. So what is mind mapping? Anyone can answer me. What is mind mapping? What is mind mapping? What is mind mapping? Hey, Google, yeah, Google, uh, Google, uh, Google, okay, so now uh, everyone bring handphone, right? Google, what is mind mapping? What is mind mapping? Hey? Uh, a diagram that summarizes. A diagram? Mind mapping, uh? okay, I'm going to write it. <coughs> mind mapping here what is a cup uh, uh, diagram that organized diagram second uh, to organize uh, information organize information and and share relation huh and showing relation organize informations and relation okay That's it. Huh? No, in, in, in one page, okay, something like that, okay? I think, why? Because diagram is a picture, okay? Root sign show words or show pictures. Root sign. When you drive, you think you have the time to read words or not, no, right? So most of the time, they show pictures. I think diagram is part of pictures because we our memory is human memory we see picture more than words understand or not so so how we're going to start with how we're going to start how we're going to start with my mapping right go google how can we start how you need some other google news chat gpt anyone use chat gpt how to use? Okay, we always start right? with a topic. With a topic, okay. So go to your handphone, open the accounting standard on MFRS accounting standard on leasing. I sent to you already, right? I WhatsApp to you guys already, right? MSB, okay. Open it. So open in the diagram. We always say that uh, please. There's a bottom you have to say, I have read and understood on the bottom of the notes, okay? Click. Okay, so today we're going to cover MFRS 1110 event after reporting period. Okay, right? So, normally, when I ask you, when the manager or when the partner asks you to read a materials, you can read Samati Mati from page one until page end of the page, right? Right? And then most of the time, the more you, if the pages, if the technical material is too technical, you get panic after reading once, right? If the technical material is too bulky, too volume, say 30 pages, 40 pages, you don't have the patience. Okay? Understand or not? Right? I think we are humans. Okay. So yesterday I shared with you normally how we start. No, normally how I start. So you open the you open the MRF MFRS 110. It's about 34 pages. Is it a lot? Is it a lot? Yes. Yes, right? Yes. 34 pages, a lot. Obviously, a lot. Okay, okay. So, I always start with content. You turn to page 3, content. Okay? Of course, before I start, I will skim through, okay? I will just roughly go through 34 pages, things like that. 
Okay, normally it will say that first time of the adoption of the accounting standard, what's the objective, what's the scope, what's the definition, ah, this is the most important definitions. I'll just run through what's the accounting standard for recognition and manage measurements, okay? Going concern issues, disclosures, okay? Effective date, and then blah, blah, blah. It run about 32 pages. It's gonna take me about half, 30 seconds to one minute, okay? After you read through, then you go to content, word by word, okay? Always, always start with content, or sometimes the technical material says it's index, okay? So, um, yes, definitely I would say it's the objective. What is the objective? Then I will put it objective. Understand or not? You branch out the sub ideas, okay? And then you will say that what is the definition defined? Understand? Normally I write from this way one, okay? My orders, okay? Then I will say that they have a treatments. Okay, one is called recognition. One is called measurements. Okay, then they also say that something about events. There's two type one. Adjusting, non-adjusting. Then special one. Special, there are two special. Special one is dividends. One is going concern. Then the final one is disclosure. So by reading this diagram, do you think more or less you know what is the key issues in this accounting standard or not? Right? More or less already. Right? Then we dive into the accounting standard. First of all, we go to objective. Objective is page one. What is the objective of this accounting standard? Uh, whether you should adjust, adjust the financial statement for, whether they should adjust, okay, and then I know, adjust. Okay, the first point mark, you can see page, I think it's page 1015. Right? They will say adjust. Okay? The financial statement. Adjust the financial statement after balance sheet date. Let's say not. This number one. Number two, they always say what is the disclosures, right? Ah yeah, disclosures. Understand not? So you can see the objectives one and two. One, keywords. Should I adjust the financial statement on the event after the balance sheet date? Second, what is the disclosure requirements? Understand not? I think you click card, right? Then, definition. Define, oh, this is too big. Okay, sometimes definition. So you, you can see the bold one. Uh, the bold one definitely is the important one. La. Like our YC guy, YC guy prefer to use marker, right? So, so marker, so. Highlight fan. Highlight fan, uh, highlight fan, okay? So definitely red color is important, okay? Event, so the following terms are used, okay? Event after the reporting date are those 
event, event, they define event. Okay? First, after reporting date. I think after they, they put it two dates, okay? All right. Event, a branch out date, one is reporting date. I think for reporting date, definitely, I think more or less it's balance sheet date, right? Okay, second thing is the date of authorizations. Understand or not? You see the definitions? Okay. They define event after the reporting date are those events. They also say that whether this is uh, favorable, okay, Tia or Tian. Okay, for me, I use my style. Everyone has their own style one. Plus meaning good, favorable. Minus meaning no good, no unfavorable. Okay, I only understand what I write. You may have different one, okay? For your own sake one, for your own preference, okay? So they also say that event, two types of event can be identified. I think most important thing is provide evidence of conditions. You see? The keyword, condition. Understand or not? Condition, provide you know, a condition that exists at the end of the balance reporting date, meaning condition at the balance sheet date or after the balance sheet date. Sorry, this is too small. Suppose if it's on, this is after. Understand or not? So this is the definition. So when I re revise, when I want to read back, then I say definition basically is an event. It can be important event. It can be date after between the reporting date, i.e. balance sheet date, or the date and the date of authorization. Okay? Also, it says the condition is favorable or unfavorable as at balance sheet date or as a between the balance sheet date and authorization date. Ching Chua? Nima? Then, of course, click on not. Faham that. Faham. Okay. Then you go to recognition and measurements. Okay. So, what is the recognition? You see, accounting standard is all whether you should recognize or not, or whether you should, how you measure. Understand not? Okay? So entity should adjust. Should adjust recognition. Okay? So for adjusting event, uh, I think this is not right. Normally I can refer back, okay? So, so I down there I say refer event. Okay? I put Okay, I refer that. Okay, so they say say that adjusting event, adjusting event after the balance sheet date. What is adjusting event after the balance sheet should adjust? Definitely, don't say adjust and recognize and recognize on the balance sheet date. Right? Okay? Non-adjusting event. Non-adjusting event. Okay? Should not be recognized in the balance sheet date. Should not adjust. Okay? For me, I use very simple. I just say, tada. Okay, clear or not? So very simple. Adjusting event 
you adjust and recognize it. Non adjusting event, you don't adjust it. Simple. You have a clear cut decisions to make, okay? Special, okay? In this accounting standard, they talk about dividend. If entity declare dividend to holder of equity instrument after the balance sheet date, after the reporting date, shall not recognize, okay? After balance sheet, shall not recognize. Shall not recognize. Okay? Okay. Going concern. Then we move to paragraph 14. An entity shall not prepare financial statement on going concern if the management determine after the balance reporting date either that intend to liquidate the entity or cease trading. Yeah, understand or not? So, going concern, same issues. What is the key factors, key keyword? Intention, intent. To liquidate the entity or cease trading, then sorry, uh, this too, the white boy is too small. Uh, our company, right? Then going concern should not be applied. When said not. So more or less, we cover 80% of accounting standard already. Then, disclosure. Date of authorization, they mentioned authorized date. See, there's two important dates, very important. First thing, when we prepare audit financial statement, first is the reporting date, okay? I.e. balance sheet date, 31st December 2002. Two. Okay? Authorization date. Normally, after the audit, when you audit, finish the audit, you always call directors, right? Yeah. And when you, when, are you in Malaysia or not? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Can you show me the passport? Ah, you, you just call. Uh, you know, uh, then, uh, because you need to approve, uh, then you need, we need, in secretary, sec eh, secretary, we need to prepare resolution, right? Director report. Director means to adopt, to authorize the financial statement. There are two dates, okay? Understand or not? Right? The whole accounting standard, you talk about date, you know, date, 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 Okay? So, disclosure. So, should disclose, okay? Should disclose when it says a date, of reporting, same again, and authorization. Then disclose. Okay? So, voila. This is the basic, this is the keyword for this accounting standard. So, I think from this, you just roughly go through MFRS 110 event after the reporting date. Normally, what is the objective? Whether the objective is to adjust the financial statement after the balance sheet date. They also stated some disclosure requirements. Okay? Define. They define that what is event. Event are those events between the balance sheet date and the authorization date. They also talk about what is condition, favorable condition or unfavorable conditions. They talk about treatment, recognition, and uh, measurements. Very simple one. Adjusting event, you just adjust the balance sheet date. Okay, very simple. Let's give you a case scenario. The financial year end is 31st December um, 2022. 22. So after the balance sheet date, you notice adapter uh, bad debts, or they issue a they issue a uh, say they issue a lawyer letter to the debtors, and the debtor amount is 
hundred thousand above maturity level. What should should it be? Adjusting event or not adjusting event? Hmm? Eh, eh, eh. Adjusting. Swiss, say, Swiss, who say adjusting one? Come. Who say adjusting? Huh? Understand? Huh? Okay. Right? Why is adjust, adjusting? Because it's existing at the financial year end. Uh, existing at the financial year end. Okay, Mima. Understand not? Hmm? So all these things you teach you, then we talk about dividends, going concerns, disclosure requirements. So this is how I use my mapping to summarize technical materials. 32 pages into one pages. So we have audit people, we have tax people, we have then we have accounting people. Let's talk about company act, right? Ah, company act. Also, I study like this one. Company act. Company act, how many pages? Right? This one. I, I found. How many pages? Five. <clears throat> so let's say, Miss Lim, Miss Lim, one day. Eh, so one day, Miss Lim tells one or what? So yeah, how you say? Waiting. I'm waiting. I someone see statement of the company act. Can you, can you, can you explain to client how you gonna find the data? How you gonna find the materials? So what she says that what is the requirement of the company act on solvency? Okay, how you find? Uh, it must be profitable. <laughs> My source is always Company Act 2016. Okay, so you go to another click in the WhatsApp ready. Company Act, so and C. Find me the so and C. Company Act, difficult to read, right? All this act is difficult to read because this is draft by lawyers. Okay? Lawyer only write for lawyer to read one. Okay, even accountant like me also sometimes don't understand what they write. Okay? Okay, solvency test. Okay? I'm gonna talk about solvency tests, okay? So for all these people, what is solvency test? Huh? I mean, what is solvency test? Why you need a solvency test? Why? Anyone can answer me? Read now. Okay, come. Anyone can help me? So why the solvency test? The purpose of solvency is to test the, uh, the company's ability to convert their asset into cash to pay back their Date. Wrong. <laughs> hey, can you speak a bit loud? The solvency test uh, for the purpose is to uh, the ability for the company to meet its liability when uh, when the debt becomes due. Okay la. more more la. I think the solvency what the solvency in English what we how what's the definition of solvency? They don't mention right. I, of course, the company act, the front page, they have a definition. I think so. Huh? What is the purpose? What is the purpose? Okay, uh, I think the purpose, what is the events that trigger you must have solvency test? What is it? Huh? Okay, I think redemption of, I don't say this. Though. Preference shares. First is preference share redemptions. You can know, huh? you didn't see it. Okay, second, share buyback. Right? Third, any events? 
the trigger, you must have a what? Share capitals reductions. Right? Then you must do solvency test. Right? Basically, right? We they always get negative, negative, become positive one. Okay, you, that's how you read. You also, you see, uh, negative, negative, become positive one. That's how not. Okay, so why is the basically is the keyword is able to pay debts, right? Within, did they say mention anything or not? 12 months. Right? Understand or not? They also say that something like asset da. Sorry, I use Chinese word. Da means big, big. Okay? Liability. Right? And you mentioned something like that. Uh, I'm not going to cover the 112 um, subsection of pay, uh, paragraph 2 because they talk about share buyback, okay? Basically, I'm um, cover is 1121 one, A, B, C. More or less, I cover already. Am I right to say? Right? Okay? So, they also talk about solvency statements. Wait, solvency statement? 113, solvency statement. Okay, offense. They also talk about offense. In this 113, this is 114. So, more or less, I, I'm, I'm not going to, we're not going to cover in detail, lah, okay? But basically, I'm going to teach you how. You're going to read law, legal materials. Okay? It's a bit tough. Sometimes it's a bit more challenging because the way they write, things like that. That's it or not? Hmm? So I hope today uh, I cover more or less how Uncle Ko like to summarize technical materials. Okay? Of course, uh, yesterday we, uh, YC gun, everyone have a different style, like YC gun, some highlighter man, highlighter boy, and you always like, right? Uh, Miss Chong, Miss Chong always write a lot one on the company act, Miss Chong. Huh? Yeah, uh, my style, I prefer this one. Why? Because diagram is the pictures. We see picture more clearly, because if you, uh, if you see all these things, you see the keywords really. You understand more. Okay? Nima, so next time when I ask you to read or manager asks you to read, we have shown you a way already. Don't come to us, you don't understand. And you are graduate. And most of you are accounting graduate or ACCA graduate. That's why not. Huh? Any questions? I hope today I helped you la, to understand more how to summarize a technical material. Huh? You should know, yeah? Okay? Understand? Anything? Any questions? So, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.